While last week's first shot of snow largely melted over the weekend, there's one place nearby with snowfall of a more lasting nature. News Channel 34 Storm Team meteorologist Lindsay Rachel visited Greek Peak, where the flakes have been flying for days. You may think it's too early, and you may not be jumping for joy about this wintry weather, but local ski resorts couldn't be more thrilled. It is very early, a little bit unusual, but Mother Nature is a little tenacious, and uh, you never know what she's thinking. So when you get an opportunity like this, you have to jump on it. With temperatures below freezing and just the right relative humidity, Greek Peak was able to turn on nearly 80 snow guns Thursday night. We've got a great weather forecast. Hope to continue for about five days. There might be a little pause in between there, but we've got some great solid days and nights of snowmaking. Advancements in the snowmaking technology has really boosted the skiing, snowboarding, and snow tubing season here at Greek Peak. They have more snow guns, which produces more snow, making more trails available for you on opening day. Uh, in the past few years, they would concentrate on uh, two trails. Now, with the snowmaking improvements we've made over the past several years, right now they're working on five to six trails plus the um, tubing center. So we're hoping for an opening day um, opportunity to, to give a little more terrain to the guests to play on. The last couple winters have been challenging with the up and down temperatures. It's not like the days of 20 years ago where you knew you were going to just have a, a really robust winter solid from the time snow started until you got into the spring. Things just change. And so that's, I think, the success of a ski resort is understanding those weather patterns and, and having a staff that's flex flexible uh, and guests that know that we do our best that we can when we have these opportunities. So you can get outside soon and ski right into April. In Virgil, Lindsay Rachel, News Channel 9.